In this video, you will see how people get rich with options trading. I will break down the math and walk you through an example. But before we begin, let me be upfront with you. This is your warning. Options trading can make you a lot of money, but it can also lead to significant losses. If that excites you, then buckle up and let's dive in. First, let me clarify something. If you're looking for a tutorial on call and put options, check out my other video, which is perfect for beginners. I'll leave a link for you below. Now, let's do the math. Suppose you have $10,000 in cash. With that money, you have two choices. You can buy stocks or stock options. We'll go through two scenarios, one where you make a substantial profit and another where you lose everything. This will help you understand just how extreme stock options can be. Let's use Yelp stock as an example. Using real numbers, Yelp's stock is currently trading at $36 per share. If you use your $10,000 to buy Yelp stock, you can purchase 277 shares. If Yelp stock price rises by $10, from $36 to $46, you earn $10 per share. With 277 shares, your total profit would be $2,770. Congratulations! Now, let's see what happens with stock options. Yelp stock is at $36 per share, and the $38 call option that expires in one month is trading at $0.80. Cents. These are real numbers. That means each $38 call option will cost you $80 since each option contract represents 100 shares. With your $10,000, you can buy 125 call options. If Yelp's stock price rises from $36 to $46, your profit would be $90,000. Let's compare. If you bought the stock, your profit would be $2,770. But if you bought the options, your profit would be $90,000. Now, listen carefully as I break down the math. If you're lost or confused, check out my other video. The link is below. This is how people get rich trading options. In this real-life example, the stock increased by 28%, but your investment grew tenfold because stock options provide leverage. However, this is a double-edged sword. When things go well, the returns are massive, but when they don't, the losses can be devastating. Now, let's look at the downside. Suppose Yelp stock is at $36, and you buy the $38 call option that expires in one month. If Yelp stock does not rise above $38 within that month, your call options will expire worthless and you will lose your entire $10,000 investment. To put it simply, options have an expiration date, which adds pressure. If you used your $10,000 to buy Yelp stock instead, and the price remained at $36 after one month, you wouldn't lose any money because you can hold the stock indefinitely. With options, time is your enemy. You need the stock price to move in your favor before the option expires, or you risk losing everything. If you want more time, you can buy call options with a longer expiration period, such as three months or one year. However, the longer the expiration, the more expensive the option. Time comes at a cost. This is why stock options are high risk, high reward, whereas buying the stock itself is lower risk and lower reward. I hope this clarifies the difference between investing $10,000 in stocks versus stock options. It's also important to note that options can be used to reduce risk. I personally use options to hedge and lower my risk, but that's not the focus of this video. What I've shown you today is a higher risk, higher reward strategy based on making the right prediction. Some people make a fortune by getting lucky, others by employing strategic methods, and many lose a lot of money by trading irresponsibly. My advice, be cautious and fully understand what you're getting into. Check out my other video, the link is below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for your support. Take care.